the emergency landing of a plane due to a UFO in Spain and its pursuit. On November 11, 1979, a plane with 109 passengers made an emergency landing due to the presence of a UFO. It was one night when flight JK-297 of the now defunct company TAE, a super caravel with 109 passengers and crew, had to make an emergency landing at Manessis Airport in Valencia. The pilot who had just taken off from Mallorca to Tenerife saw red lights approaching the plane dangerously. Worried, he reported what was happening, but neither the Barcelona Control Center nor the Madrid Center detected anything on the radar. It was the first time in history that a passenger aircraft had been forced to make an emergency landing due to a UFO sighting as the unidentified object violated all basic aviation safety standards. At 0400, a Mirage took off from the base at Albacete and in eight minutes was flying over Valencia. It did not take long for his pilot to encounter the large red light that remi remained static over Menezes Airport. The fighter requested permission to go supersonic, but as it got a little closer, the object readjusted its speed the fighter pilot chased it as far as Zaragoza, but gave up the chase there. They asked the pilot to fly over the Saragunto Sea, where they also saw strange lights. Lack of fuel caused him to return to base, but it said that night four objects could be seen in total. The mysterious Manessis case received a lot of media coverage, but remained, remains shrouded in mystery, despite being declassified by the uh, Spain Air Force. As stated on Wikipedia, the public impact on the, of the incident, which uh, was such that in September 1980, it reached the Cortes Generales, the Spanish Parliament, Supreme Chamber Representative Enrique Mujica Herzog publicly demanded an official explanation, but the possibility of a UFO sighting was dismissed and the incident attributed to a series of horrific optical illusions. The full uh, official report was declassified by the Spanish Air Force in August 1994, states the Super Caravel JK-297 pilot Javier Sanz de Tejega, Tejada, ground crew at Manessas Airport and Air Force Captain Fernando Camara may have been misled by, quote, emitted flashes from a distant chemical industrial complex, and quote, about 100 miles away from Manessas, and some stars and planets, quote unquote. Although this possibility has been much debated and repeatedly dismissed by all involved, it is the only non-UFO explanation. The in-flight difficulties encountered by the fighter were not mentioned in the public announcement. The failure of the electronic system of the Mirage F-1 could, however, be explained by the fact that the United States 6th Fleet was stationed in the area and was using a powerful electronic warfare equipment while awaiting the outcome of the Iran hostage crisis F-1 fighter pilot. Fernando Camara dismissed such a possibility, saying that the 6th Fleet was too far away, and furthermore, his systems jammed when he tried to jam the UFO with an IR missile. So you can watch the... Um, well, there's there's no related video, but uh, he said that he, he's... Uh, Systems jammed when he tried to fire a missile. So obviously this UFO knew that he was trying to track him and fire a missile. And that's when his systems jammed. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. And I've uh, translated this for you from a Greek article. Thank you. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.